follow-up from the last video that I did uh, talking about home-cooked meals and tracking your macros if you live at home and your parents prepare your dinner for you and you don't know the macros of it, what should you do? I'll throw a link to that video on the screen right now if you want to check it out. I got a couple of questions and comments on that video of people asking what to do if they're away at school, uh, mainly college. I did go away to school myself. I dormed away at college and you know I had to eat off of what was available, the dining halls that were there. Uh, you can go out and do your own shopping. Most places when you go away to school, if you're living in dorms, will have a common area or a kitchen for everyone to use at their disposal. Uh, if you have that, that's great. If you have some extra income and you want to do your own grocery shopping, you can use that common area to do some cooking. I know some kids who would have a microwave in their room. Uh, some people had a George Foreman girl in their room. I'm not sure if that's allowed in most places, but anyway, when it comes to dining hall eating, there is always going to be an option. You know, if you, people say, you know, can you still reach your goals? All the dining hall food is junk. Uh, what am I supposed to eat? If you understand macronutrients and you've been following my videos, you know how I feel about that. You know, classifying foods as healthy and unhealthy. It's all about the overall macronutrient intake, you know, focusing on micronutrient dense foods, whole minimally processed foods, but being able to fit other foods in that most bodybuilders would consider dirty. So when you go to a dining hall, most of the time, you know, I'm almost certain that if you ask the person working behind the counter, say they have a grill station, you could simply ask them if they can give you grilled chicken. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to do so. And the fact that you'll be dining there just about every day, they'll get to know you and they'll understand your needs. And it won't be so much of an issue. So don't be scared to ask for something. You know, you're never going to get anywhere if you hesitate to ask because you fear the answer is going to be no. It doesn't hurt to ask if you want something special ordered from a place or anything like that. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, most dining halls when you go away at a university level are going to have choices of foods. There's going to be a station with a grill, there's going to be pasta, there's going to be a salad bar or fruit or omelet station or anything like that. If you somehow go to some school in the middle of nowhere and there's one dining hall and all they serve is McDonald's or pizza, I don't really know what to tell you. Maybe go out hunting and kill your own animal and then cook it. But now for real, if you're going away to school, you know, ask the people if you don't see an option that seems healthy for you. And that's really it. Don't stress about it. If you haven't been away to school yet, they will have something for you. I can guarantee you that. I've been to a ton of different colleges. And again, don't be afraid to ask something to be special ordered or changed up a little bit to fit your needs, whatever you're looking for. So that's really it. Any questions, feel free to ask me. Like I said, I did go away to school. So I've had the experience of doing so and tracking macros while away is no different than doing it while at home. So I hope that answers your question. Leave comments, start a discussion down below if you want. And that's about it. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. Don't forget to like the video. And until next time, I'll see you later. That's Maddie Fuzaro.